Hi Taurus, it's Leslie with your January forecast. Here we are right at getting into the new year 2017. Off with the old, on with the new. All new things for us. Beginnings. Um, let me see what the cards have in store for you. Right here. Let me shuffle them. You can see Miss Vera is here. Right here, wishing you Merry Christmas too. Let's see what we have here for you. Your best days are the 11th, the 12th, and the 29th for January. It's a strong month for you this month, and strong in being positive. Um, you may be asked to take the reins of a group or a committee if someone drops the ball. Documents of importance and negotiations. Do not sign until after the 8th, but remember, do remember, they're very careful. They're very important to be very careful. Anything of an official nature will go best after the 19th. So take your time. Wait to do things do things. Sometimes you do things impulsively and you're sorry. I want you to be really careful. Whatever you're doing, don't rush things. Or you may have to rearrange your steps and start all over. That's what I mean. Do not sign anything important until the 8th. And if it's official, government, paper, taxes, that kind of thing, make it after the 19th, the 18th or the 19th. Um, do, what, do what you do the best. Wait until February. That would be the best for you to do for anything important. Um, this is telling me that um, you do have some important things coming up um, and to be careful. So it will go in your favor. We want everything to go in your favor. Here you are, sometimes called Earth Mother. Uh, the Empress is called the Earth Mother a lot of times. You, you've done a lot at Christmas. Um, you've met, mothered a lot of people or been very maternal to a lot of people. Been very good at Christmas as far as making cookies or taking people in or entertaining for people, helping people, um, that's all going to come back to you. I see your karma is very good this year. It's going gonna, it's gonna to really come back to you because you are a good person. You've done a lot of things for people, and you're very strong at doing that, and you don't mind sharing money. Here you are going on a trip or going somewhere near water um, and enjoying yourself very much, and this helps things calm down for you also. I'd say that would be in three weeks or March. You're, that's closer to March when you'd be doing that. Um, it was six weeks. Um, I guess that would be February, but I think I'm feeling I have a feeling March is a good time for you to travel. Um, the world is the best card in the deck. Here you are, it's your most positive influence, so you're bringing stuff in. Energy, good energy, is going to be coming to you with opportunities. You're thinking about what to do, you're thinking about your money. Uh, you're probably thinking you spent too much at Christmas. Um, you also may be thinking, how are you gonna? Um, Make a budget or, you know, uh, organize your money better. You will. You're think you wouldn't, if you weren't thinking about it, you wouldn't, but it's on your mind. You're also thinking, wow, I've been partying an awful lot. Uh, you're still going to party, though. <laughs> um, just be careful. Sometimes you don't feel good the next day. And make sure you have a designated driver. Um, and, and here you are balancing what just what you should do, good or bad. Um, and it's also might be about a trip. Um, listen to your inner self and do what you feel is right. Have a wonderful Christmas. Again, thank you so much for following um, our YouTube uh, horoscopes. And remember, if you want that, holiday, that New Year's forecast for 2017, uh, please call 800-541-6999. Be sure and check out Brandon. Uh, he just put... a. A video about himself on a few days ago and Omar is done is doing the cards he's already on there'll be a new one on this week enjoy bye bye